Uh, Man, Mike, you might be able to get featured on two of my videos. That is a semi-hermetic. Sean, too. <laughs> that is semi-hermetic. Okay, let me see. Oh, I'm here, at... check this out. Still hold hold fire. Here. I know. That's what I'm trying not to touch anything. What's in there? Oh, thermostat. This freaking blade's still free, too. Okay, that's why it seemed like it's cracked. That's... Yeah, I need the pliers. This needs to be... Can I, uh... Oh, I would, but somebody has a pile of uh, shit against my uh, drawer with all my knobs on there. Kiss my ass. Cool, close. I had a pair of you. Oh, right here. Here's your go one. I forgot that thing's two speed. Yeah, let me see, Russ. Our start kit. There you go. Install it. Yet. <laughs> yeah, it's. I want to plug it first, just saying. So yeah, 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 it's always that. a. Yeah, let me I forgot it. we have a different cord on there, too. I don't want to dang up here. All right. All right. Yeah, let you go. All right, well, you have to kill that fetters, too, just, like, just for the noise purposes. Yeah. Sure about that. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. All right, so I'm going to turn the thermostat down. Oh, it did rock. It's not. Oh, and it got like a little bit chilly right there for a second. We gotta let that cool down. It's got a thermistor in it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's basically. Um, <laughs> so, because it doesn't have a relay in it, it basically. Oh, the compressor's out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thermal, Thermal overload. overload. There you go. <laughs> It's that like, might be what it is, actually. Hopefully. No, it's like it's stuck. You might need a bigger cap, too. I don't know. Or the cord's not big enough. No, nah, it worked before. Let's use your AC extension cord to extension cord. Yeah, get a bigger cord. That's a might not be. Just, I don't know if we're just not getting enough juice. Okay, that's a single, that's a two, that's two one, corner. This shorter. Yeah, it's the, uh, you have to plug into a different circuit, though. You oh. can try it, but I don't think I it's going to make a difference. Breaker. I've never had something not start on that circuit. That's off a of 30 amp, sub, or 60 amp sub panel. Yeah, I got to plug that back. That's a deep freeze. That's got to get plugged back in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> Shall have a conniption. He finds out that freaking deep freezer's not running. <laughs> okay, this might have to. Is this gonna have a polarity to it? No. You know, is so that you sure that would yeah, that's a start cap. So um does it have a run cap though? That should do everything. I don't think these have run caps. Yeah, I just hear it go like, and then it's a small, it's like the motor. Well, these compressors can be rebuilt, though. Yeah. Yeah, because oh. I know for a fact this ran under the, with, with the factory shit before. Three years ago? Four years ago? Not that, yeah, not that long. And let's sit, let that cool down. All right. Well, if we have an update, it starts. You're here first too well, I guess. Uh, let me. Oh, Wait. oh, oh it's, it's not, not plugged, plugged in. in. <laughs> Lights is on, it? but nobody's home. Is your air conditioner plugged in? <laughs> That's what you get. You call tech support. Yeah. <laughs> Try unplugging it and plugging it back in. Oh, that was uh, IT crowd. Did you want? Did you turn right. it off and back on again? Yeah, plug it in. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and. Let that come up first, and then I'll cycle it. Ready? Yep. There we go. There we go. We take one of those off or leave them. Be fine. They have they have those uh, thermal relays in them. Just 
getting cold. It's building head pressure, you can hear it. That'll help for a half of it at least. And I kicked up the high too. Oh, that's getting cold. Really stupid. Why don't I complain about the. Oh, it is cold. Is that they uh, blow out the uh, from side, side to side, half the bottom to top? Thing too, though, is you're not gonna. It's gonna get colder because we are we're sucking air through the top, and we're not pulling through the other half of the coil. Yeah, it would get colder if you had the uh, other part on. That's really frigid. It's only cold up till about three quarters. It's of the building, way up, though. It's building. I think it hasn't been run in four years, and, and four years ago, the last time it was ran was probably thirty years ago. So yeah, if you look at it, it's actually in really good condition. My 56 over there was in half this condition. I'd be happy. So what's the what's the BTUs on this? Six thousand. That seems to be the magic number for this area. You notice that? Because they are in single single rooms. Well, the AC fan I got these off of. He said he got these out of like an old Victorian in uh, yeah. upstate New York. Yeah. It was like a five-hour drive for him. He lives up in uh, Long Island, so. People who had money. <laughs> well, if you lived in a big Victorian, you had money. Yeah, yeah. Even, that even makes that fetter sound loud. I know. <laughs> they used to give it the units today a run for their money as far as that goes. You know what we can do? We just put the lid on it. Yeah, you got the caps kind of sticking up. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hang on. Eh, yeah, you're right. You have to source out the proper capacity. This should run good, then. Should be value. Should be on it. It's, it's a big start cap. It's probably just we probably just didn't have enough microfarads. I wonder what the purpose of this is. Uh, might be to keep the lid from caving in on the fan. Maybe I don't know. It's pretty flimsy though. Yeah. I just can't get over how good a shape this thing's in. Let's if you have a leak, it's probably down there. <laughs> That's what keeps the condensate down by the... Uh... Like I said, I don't care. Dude, there's no way splash is making any difference with that situation. You're, you're, not, you're not even splashing a whole condenser. You can see where you can put oil in the compressor right there. It's probably not a bad idea. Give your AC an oil change. Where's the... Uh... Oh, right here. Of course, it's going to be much colder. Yeah, that side. This is the discharge side. So that's probably pretty accurate. Oh, here we go, Ross. This side's going to be a lot cooler because it's not getting much air coming through it. Let's do this. No, actually, it's not. It's not really making much of a difference, Mike. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. There you go. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's take that, yeah. Take that knob off. Yep. Oh, hell, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. I think it definitely needs some juice, but we'll get, I, I mean, don't know. It's it's it just like just when I put that cardboard on. Oh, there you go. It just started getting ice cold. It might be fine then. We'll see. It's got a full charge. And it's almost it's cold almost to the top now, so yeah, it might be fine. This thing is neat though, isn't it? It's old yeah. Carrier silhouette. Where's the uh, front row to that piece? Oh, uh, right there. Oh. Oh, we can actually probably put this on. Yeah, my only bitch about these carrier silhouettes is the discharge. I mean, imagine, oh yeah, that's awesome. Imagine how much cooler it would be if, yeah, that's neat, ain't it? That is cool. But imagine how much cooler it would actually be if it sucked in through the bottom and blew out the top. Yeah. Of you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead, of, instead of sucking in the left side and blowing out the right side. Yeah, yeah, it's just... Definitely 50s uh, decor. 19, 1953. It's so quiet. It's on high, too. Yeah, I really wish this. Some dickhead has a freaking motorcycle on. No, they're moving the. Um... Oh. 
You just called your friend a dickhead. Did you? I call him a dickhead all the time. Uh, <laughs> thermostat cycling off. Uh, it'll kick back on again. But yeah, that's quiet. So yeah, that lives. This is a 1953 carrier silhouette. I uh, probably got to do an adjustment on the thermostat to get it. I thought that was some dickhead with a freaking four-wheeler or, or a motorcycle when I wrote my video again. Remember that day I was flipping out when I was trying to hear that feathers run when, I, when uh, it lost its charge and the neighbor was cutting the freaking grass. I was having a conniption. Like, turn that the freaking thing The accumulator off. was ice cold. It's got a full charge. Oh, I know. It's probably because it, it's no... The baffle didn't, uh, for the grill's not there uh, right now. Yeah. So that's why it kicked the thermostat off. Oh, right. uh, you know why? Because we have this on. Here's the sensor. Yep, yeah, that's exactly why. Yep. Oh, well. It'll warm back up. Yeah. It's still cold after it shut off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is R12. I don't think this is 22. It'd have to be 12 because of the size, too. This is how Dave's... Um... Car I think Carrier only used R12 and R500. Back in those days. Okay. I didn't think Carrier used R22. And I don't think any of the tags are even pleasurable. Probably could read that one if I brushed it off. Yeah, because 50s 12 was pretty commonplace. I have to look up where the patents on what refrigerants do. I know DuPont, I think, had it on 12. That's what they called it Freon. happy though it pisses me off whoa bubbles <laughs> yeah I, patience is not my strong point once i start getting antsy and impatient well, all bets are uh, no nah, simple green oh, okay yeah was... a, tell you what it instantly smelled a lot better I'm actually curious to know what KDs is. I wonder if I wonder if there's that wonder because they're probably obviously bought the same day. Yeah, the serial numbers might be if they were close. They probably won't be exactly the same truck load would be close. Or the same probably. assembly line day. Did I kick back on? I can't. Yeah. I had to let's blow and fold again. Oh yeah. <laughs> the bubbles. bubbles coming out of it. <laughs> yeah, because there's your thermostat. Look how long that is. Like, oh, yeah. it's just... oh, I also know of and installed one of these too, and I might as well also uh, add the photo of that to the uh, back of it. I don't think I showed the back. These have like a, uh, it's, it's not here on that one, but the back of it's pretty basic and simple. There's not much to it. There's usually a uh, baffle that goes or like a louver that goes here that aims over i think it aims that way so it's not sucking the discharged air back into it again i know i have it i think it's it's over here somewhere Let's see what are we getting for yeah i have a little bit of a mess going on here so probably not gonna be able to find it too easily works great Trying to keep the nope. temp gun out of the airstream. That is so. going to be a wrap for now. Thanks for watching. All right, we're going to finish off with this carrier video. It's running really good. It's building up some condensation, actually. It's blowing a lot colder than 68 degrees. I can guarantee you that. Like I said, I, don't, I really don't believe these temp guns are all that accurate. They're not. That's freaking hot, though. Look at that. That, I believe. That's blowing, like, really warm out the backside. Alright, well, like, kill it. Alright. This gives a little freaking shake, that's it. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's been a good spin down time on a fan motor. Ran for probably about a half hour. Oh, easy. I think we're going to run a 1948 Philco for a little bit. Yeah, let that break in more. Get the juices flowing. Well, thank you for watching. Mike, 
It's good to feature you finally. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, you want to be on? Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that fire right up. No bullshit. I'm going to let that run for a little bit. You guys already saw the video on that. Until then, catch you next time.